Hello, in this video I'm going to review three interactive whiteboards that work with your Chromebook. The first whiteboard that I'm going to review is called Web Whiteboard. Web Whiteboard is a very simple interactive whiteboard. It's got a pencil with uh, thin, medium, and thick uh, f uh, font, so this will allow you to uh, write on the, on the whiteboard. Um, it's got a text inserter. Um, the problem that I found with the text inserter is that the font was a little small and um, there was really no way to adjust that. Up here you can change the color so if, um, if I wanted to highlight a certain aspect of the, of, the, of the problem I could highlight it there. And in the last button you, you can clear all the content or invite people uh, or post the whiteboard uh, to a website. So the second whiteboard I'm going to review is called Whiteboard Light by Lesson Monkey. Um, it's got a pen uh, here that will allow you to uh, write on the whiteboard. It's got an eraser, a line drawer. Line, uh, the line drawer was not in the other program. It's got a shape um, constructor. Um, text inserter, this is actually one um, uh, upgrade that I thought was a little better than the other program. So if I have text that I want to insert, I can actually change the font uh, before it's inserted and then you just click to insert and then you could use the pen uh, to work out the problem below. Color picker, undo, redo, uh, you can zoom in here and then you can clear contents using the clear contents button. Changing the background color and uh, this is where you change the pen color. Uh, so as you can see there are more features that are in this uh, this whiteboard probably more that you're accustomed to if you've worked with paint or if you've worked with um, notebook software uh, in the past. The last whiteboard that I'm going to review is called Hayboard. Hayboard has a free free version with one room and a uh, premium version with ten rooms. But I actually found that um, if you just reuse the one 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 free room that they give you, um, you you could you could just do that. So once you create your free room, it'll appear in your dashboard, and you just enter the room like this. One of the features of Hayboard is that students can connect to the, the room and for remote learning. So if that interests you, you can look into that here. Um, it starts out with gridded paper, but you can turn that off and on using the grid paper button. You know, it's got a pen that you can uh, um, write with. I thought, um, I thought this uh, was a little more uh, accurate or had better mouse control with regards to uh, working out equations. Uh, so I'm writing all this stuff with a mouse, but we are looking into ways in which tablets can work with the Chromebooks, so uh, more to come on that. Line drawer, and then um, here you have the uh, shape drawers. Now they added one interesting feature to the shape drawer, and that's a free hand tool. So let's say I wanted to draw a circle with a radius of 10, so one block of this is 10. All I have to do is highlight the four points here and and um, and then you have the circle with a radius of 10 and then you can use the line drawer to identify the radius and you can work out the um, work out the uh, math off to the right you have a text inserter it works very similar to the notebook software so uh, if I just type the text and then I can increase the font just by pulling the um, one of the buttons off to the side of the text box. Uh, I have a highlighter. So when you're in gridded paper, uh, when you have grid paper down, uh, you essentially have a Cartesian plane. Uh, so you could use the use the highlighter to highlight uh, points. highlight points and then uh, you could use the zoom in tool here and the hand tool to discuss uh, slope or uh, some other um, some other item that you might want to discuss with the problem. 
here's the clear all tool. So um, you can clear your whole page. And then um, the, last, the last thing I want to discuss with um, Hayboard is the ability to cut and paste. Uh, this is something that was not available in the other whiteboards. Um, so essentially what that allows you to do is if you have a picture that you want, that you like, so let's take this picture right here, you can copy this image and you can paste it into Hayboard. And uh, using the, the pointer tool, you can manipulate that and you can work out math, you can provide explanations. So. So those are three whiteboards um, in varying levels of um, varying levels of tools that are available to you. So whatever you're most comfortable with, you know, uh, try that first. And then if you have any questions or you want uh, further guidance on whiteboards, uh, just send me an email and we can work through it.